Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Footy Travellers Podcast. Hey everyone, Colin here. Welcome to a bonus episode of the Footy Travelers Podcast, where the guest in our previous episode, Matthew Ide of Far Away Football, tells us all the story of how Manchester City and Etihad Airways basically paid for his honeymoon in the Seychelles. Let's listen in. I do want to mention, I have to go back to my honeymoon really quickly Ooh, and yeah. sort of connect it to your trip in November. If you were talking about city. Yeah. Uh, I am a city supporter. Send your hate in the comments. Um, <laughs> boo hiss before the money, whatever. Yeah. Um, Manchester city basically paid for my honeymoon as well. Um, <laughs> How's that? <laughs> wow. And how can I get a yeah, how do I, how payment do I, on my honeymoon? How do I do that? Well, so I, um, I, I had been the chairman of the Manchester City Supporter Club in Washington, D.C., the Capital City Blues, uh, for a number of years and had decided to retire from that arduous, arduous position. But it's one of the largest supporters clubs in the in the country now, and I'm very proud of that. They've done great work in my absence. But I was retiring, and my honeymoon was coming up, and it, we picked Seychelles, and we saw that Etihad Airways flew to Seychelles from D.C. So I reached out to City, and I was like, hey... I'm a big city supporter. Love what you do. My wife and I, or my fiance and I are going to Seychelles. We saw that Etihad is flying there. We'd love to fly on Etihad. Wondering if there's like a discount code, t- free towel, a pillow, like just like, you know, from, from city supporter to city supporter. What yeah. do you say? You got I'll, anything? I'll take anything not to feel cramped and, and squished for however many hours that flight is. Yeah. Yeah. And they basically said, you know, oh, Okay, don't call us, we'll call you, right? And over the course of many months, they would sort of like reach out and be like, hey, you still doing this? I'm like, yes, I'm still getting married. Uh, I'm still having a honeymoon, like, don't thank get you. cold feet, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. It's like the yeah. weirdest best man ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like it was just this weird sort of like, okay, well, we're all on holiday, but we just wanted to make sure. I'm like, okay, cool, all right. And then it would be like kind of radio silence. And then they they were like, hey, we want to have a call with you and it sounded kind of important. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So they set up this call with a bunch of really important people. And they were like, we want to invite you to New York. This was during their like preseason tournament to New York City to watch City play. You'll want for nothing. You will be in a box. You'll be our guest VIP. What do you say? And I was like, that sounds amazing, but I'm going to a wedding in Kenya when that's going on. <laughs> Of course you are. I know, I know. And they they were like, oh, okay, well, all right. And then, then the call just sort of ended. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. And I was have like, fun oh, in Kenya. shit. <laughs> like, well, that was my chance. Like, okay, whatever. Like how good of a friend am I to this Kenyan friend? <laughs> Very good friend. <laughs> um, so it was like, okay, well, that happened. Um, fast forward a little bit and... Liz and I are running late to a match, a a watch party at Lucky Bar in D.C. And uh, we walk in and the lights are all off and it's rather quiet. And all of a sudden everyone yells, surprise, the lights come on and the club's all there. And there are people in Etihad Airways uniforms standing there. And it's like, what is happening? There were people with like TV cameras there. Whoa. And they were like, hey, here's a letter from Vincent Company congratulating you on your retirement. And I was like, oh, my God, what's happening <laughs> right now? Um, and they're like, OK, sit down because we want to have you watch this video. And I mean, it was like Bernard Bernardo Silva is just like, hey, Matthew and Liz, we wanted to wish you congratulations on your wedding. And then Leroy Sané burns me because he's like, after seven years, he put a finally put a ring on it. <laughs> and I was like, thanks, Leroy. Appreciate it. Um, See, was he sold the next year? <laughs> yeah. 
but so they basically they presented Liz and I with two business class tickets to Seychelles wow. right then and there, like a big like big sort of cardboard airplane ticket, and we were like, oh my god, this is amazing! Like thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you know. And they we had to do some little promo shoot for them, and then when we actually got to Seychelles, by the way, if you can fly business class on Etihad or Etihad Airways, it's supposed to be one of the it. best in the world. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, we got to this resort. Uh, which was also part of the deal because they were like, we're going to give you a little discount on uh, one of our like Etihad travel resorts. And I bought uh, like a little villa, like the teeny tiniest one, you know. And well, you didn't know that this was coming, right? So you I mean you obviously did all the proper planning for your honeymoon, right? And my budget was pretty small, uh, and I was like, this is great, but also like I can't afford these bigger ones. I appreciate you showing them to me, but like we're going to just do this little villa over here. And when we got to this place on Silhouette Island, which is like this little private private-ish island. They pulled us aside, or they pulled us out of the crowd, and they were like, "Okay, here's your golf cart." And everybody else got on another golf cart, and we're taking off to their things. And we were going down the path, and they're like, "You know, this is this," and they're sort of giving us the tour. And as we were driving, the villas were getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And then they pulled up, and they stopped in front of this like massive bungalow villa thing, and we're like, "Okay," and they're like, "And here you are. This is your place." And I was like, "This sure? is not what I paid for." <laughs> And they're like, no, this is the one below what we allow heads of state to live to stay in. And I was like, what? <laughs> wow. You're like, I don't it's have a- heads of state money to pay for yeah. that. Right. <laughs> yeah. What did I sign? Yeah. Yeah. So we open up the door. Liz, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> and we open up the door to this beautiful villa. And on the on the pool deck, which has its own private pool, is the Premier League trophy. Whoa. And the League Cup just sitting there. Oh my gosh! On the deck. Can you touch it? I asked. I wasn't allowed to touch it. Yeah. Oh. But it's just right there, and I by itself, just like sitting, like as it's like sunbathing. Basically, yeah. I mean, it had its like little handler standing next to it, but it was just like uh, there's video of me walking in, just going like, "What?" Like just nuts. Even a trophy has to take a vacation, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, wow. so I, wow. it it was it was making a little short stop uh, from I think it was in Singapore and it was on its way to Abu Dhabi and they were sort of like oh yeah we'll just stop in Seychelles and just do a little like you know pit stop here that wouldn't be a bad job whoever's in charge of transporting that trophy all over the world for real that's one way trophy, to free travel you know trophy security guys are the coolest people on the planet I've 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 been lucky enough to hang out with the trophy security guys from City and the trophy security guys from uh, Bayer Leverkusen. Oh, and wow. they're the, like the coolest people. <laughs> wow. That's a subtle flex. Yeah. Oh, I've I've been mascots for football clubs, I'm just going to say. That's awesome. <laughs> if there's anyone out there who probably deserves to be and just should be overall, I think it's Matthew yeah. Ide from Far so, Away Football. So that was your villa. So to finalize it, that was your villa. They covered your villa or you yeah. were there just to look at the trophy and then they No, that was that was it. Villa. That was that was what we stayed in. We stayed in this gorgeous villa. We didn't get to stay with the trophy the whole time, but they set up the trophy in the dance club for like a night, and then they set it up by the pool for a while. But at the club, all the German tourists were like, what is this trophy doing here? Why is this <laughs> yeah. here? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> like, you know. Some clubs have disco balls. Some have, uh, you know, Premier League trophies. And yeah. It was it was just like an out-of-body experience to just like... Oh yeah, that's here because of me. I think, like, I don't know. You know, all the staff just thought we were like huge celebrities, and like, no, we're just dopes from the U.S. Well, um, that is an incredible story. That's I did so not cool. see yeah. that coming. Um, Shout out, City, the only club in Manchester. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't have an issue with that. That's nope, fine. Not at all. Um, well, maybe on our trip in November, uh, that bleeds into December. Yeah, we'll have. A story that comes maybe a tenth of the way there. Oh, I was going to say, maybe we should name drop Matthew's name. Or maybe that would get us something special. <laughs> Good idea. Good Let's idea. talk. Bye. <laughs>